Hi there, in this quick video, I will show you how you can improvise T-SQL code for better performance. Let's jump into the demo. AdventureWorks 2016 has this table, sales order header, which has a few columns and one of the columns is total due. Now let's say there is a business need to compute two additional columns, the percentage and the difference. For each sales item, let's compute the percentage value this particular sales item has in comparison to the overall sales in terms of percentage and the difference this sales value has with the average sales amount. Now most SQL developers may write a query like this where you are putting down two sub queries, one to compute the sum and the other one to compute the average. The first one of course will facilitate in computing the percentage using this statement and the second one is going to give you the difference amount which is total due minus the overall average. If you execute this particular query and let's see we get the data as expected and if you jump into the execution plan the first thing you are going to observe that optimizer scans the same table three times first, second and third. Now how can you improvise this? Let's go back and rewrite the query using cross join. So you can take off the sub queries and put down a cross join section here. Let's say I'm computing the sum and average as a singleton query here which is giving me two values and of course join it with the other query. So this is a relational multiplication that we are doing using cross join and of course refer these columns in these, this query here. So if I execute this and we get the output as expected, let's go and jump into the execution plan and you can see that the same data is now being scanned twice instead of three times. Of course this, means, this would mean that there will be some performance improvement. So let's go and execute both the queries together and jump into the execution plan to see that optimizer definitely thinks that the second one is faster, 59% versus 41% and of course you can also check the statistics to see that the data is being scanned lesser in the second query. If you like the video and whichever platform you're watching this on, subscribe, share and RT with your colleagues. Log on to sqlmaestros.com and sqlservergeeks.com for more such content and follow me on Twitter A underscore Bunsel. See you soon in another video. Thank you.